Welcome to Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. I'm Miss Smith. In this video, we're going to specifically be talking all about circles. So it's how we can use, you know, things like midpoint and distance specifically with circles because circles are a little different. So I've laid out here some formulas that we'll use in order to answer some of these questions. These formulas are good to know, okay? It's particularly area of a circle, radius of a circle. I mean, I highly suggest memorizing these just to make your self more prepared for whatever you might see. Typically when asked questions that involve these, a test is going to give you formulas, okay? You know, but for future math classes, go ahead and memorize these. But you know, for math one specifically in our class, I, I don't expect you to have these memorized quite yet. But get ahead of the game. Go ahead and do it. All right. So circles are a little different. Let's just first just talk about a couple of these formulas. Um, so when I say circumference of a circle, what that means is literally the distance from one point on the circle all the way back to that point. It's kind of like the perimeter of a circle. We just specifically call it circumference. Um, so the formula to find that would be pi, that's what that symbol is, pi times the distance, or two times pi times the radius. Okay, and we'll talk about radius in a second. Either one of these formulas work, just kind of depends on what information you already have. Uh, you know, which one would be easier to use. It's just a personal decision. Okay, area of a circle. That means literally area of the circle. So I showed this by just shading the circle in in blue. You want to know what is all the space inside of the circle. So the formula to find that would be pi r squared. That's a pretty common formula. If you were going to memorize any of these, I would say memorize that one, pi r squared, area of a circle. All right, and R stands for radius. Now let's talk about radius because it's shown up so far in two of these formulas. Radius of a circle, sometimes students confuse it with midpoint, but, but don't, don't get those confused. Radius is the distance from one end of the circle to the center of the circle. So it's not a point. It's not asking what is the center of the circle. It's asking what's the distance from the edge to the center. That distance is called the radius. Okay, if they wanted to know that exact point, and they will ask us that in a second, um, they would ask for the center of the circle. Then they're wanting to know what is that point. But if they're talking about radius, they want to know that distance there. Um, so the formula to find that would be one half times the diameter of the circle. And I think I said distance earlier, um, but that D stands for diameter. So from one end well, let's talk about that. That's our next one. So diameter means from one edge of the circle, one end point to the opposite end point. And that distance is called the diameter. Okay, so all the way across the circle. Um, and essentially to find it, you're going to use the distance formula to find the distance between these two endpoints. So if it wants you to do that in math one, it's going to give you the two endpoints and then it says, okay, find the diameter. And all it means is find the distance. Okay, so there's a little bit of circle jargon um, to kind of put in your tool belt. Let's see some of this in action. Endpoints of the diameter of a circle are 5, 7 and negative 4, negative 8. Determine the following. So we're going to start with finding the center of the circle. So it gave us this endpoint and this endpoint. Okay, and it's saying, it told us, these are the endpoints of the diameter. Um, so it's saying, you know, just looking at this picture, it would say this end is negative 4, negative 8, and this one is 5, 7. Okay, so we want to know what would be the center of the circle. So what they're asking for is the midpoint what would be the midpoint of these two points? So we would have to use our midpoint formula, which we just learned about in the last video. So if you remember midpoint formula, we've got x1 plus x2 divided by 2, comma y1 plus y2 divided by 2. OK, 
okay? And once we insert our, our Y1s and our Y2s and all that information, then we just solve. So let's do that. All right, so in place of my X1, I think it's worth the time to go ahead, rewrite your two points. So my two points are five and seven, and then negative four, negative eight. Okay, and your order doesn't actually matter. I could have written the negative four, negative eight first, and the five, seven second. That does not matter, okay? Um, as long as you're consistent with your labeling, that is what matters. So, if this is my first point, I'm going to label this x1 and y1. This is my second point, so I'm going to label this x2 and y2. All right, so now let me plug those into my formula. So, x1... 5 plus x2, negative 4. So I'll write 5 plus negative 4. That's the same thing as saying 5 minus 4. So you can save yourself a little bit of time. Divide it by 2. All right, and then y1, 7, plus y2, negative 8. So I'll just do a plus negative 8. And then divide it by 2. Now remember, we always simplify what's on top first and then divide by 2. So 5 plus negative 4, which is 5 minus 4, would be 1. 1 divided by 2, uh, that's as far reduced as that can go. So I'm just going to leave it as 0.5, or you could do 1 half. All right, what about... 7 plus negative 8. That's the same thing as saying 7 minus 8. Well, that would be negative 1. And negative 1 divided by 2, I can't reduce that. So I'm just going to write it as a decimal, negative 0.5. So there is the center of the circle. It would fall at positive 1 half, or yeah, positive 1 half, negative 1 half. So you could have done fraction, just pointing that out. I just chose to write it as a decimal. All right, now let's find the radius. So I've got to think back here. Radius of a circle is one half times the diameter. So I've got to find the diameter in order to uh, figure out the radius. And in order to do diameter, remember that's the distance between our endpoints. So I'll need to use my distance formula here using my two points, and luckily I've already labeled them, so that's helpful. So I'm gonna do distance equals square root of, and if you don't know what I'm talking about here, you need to go back and review the distance formula video, okay? We did a whole video just on this formula. All right, so, uh, and it was x2, parenthesis x2, so negative four, minus x1, five, squared plus parenthesis y2 negative 8 minus y1 7 squared and I'll extend my square root all right so to save myself making a careless error I'm going to go ahead and just put that straight into the calculator so here we go all right, square root of parenthesis negative four minus five and parenthesis squared plus parenthesis negative eight minus seven parenthesis squared. Okay, I'm just gonna double check, make sure that is what I typed in, yes, and enter. Now there's my distance. So my distance is 17, I'll just round to the nearest hundredth, 17.49. So the distance is 17.49, but that's not what they were asking me for. They're asking me for the radius, and remember radius is one half of the diameter. So I found the diameter, right, it's 17.49. I need to now take half of that. So one half times 17.49, all right, I'm going to put that in my calculator, one half times 17.49 and that gives me my radius which is and I'm gonna write R equals 
four, five. Now you could round that off to the nearest hundredth. It was a fairly short decimal, so I just wrote the whole thing. All right, so wanted to know radius. I had to do a little bit of figuring out before I could actually find the radius. Um, but now I not only know my diameter, but I also know my radius, which is gonna help me out possibly going forward. Okay, so it wants to also find the area. So let me think back. Area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. So I have all the information I need to be able to do this. I already determined the radius. So here we go. Area is pi times r. I'm going to go ahead and yeah, I'll just use the full decimal. Whatever, it's fairly short. Squared. All right, so the way you type that into your calculator is you do second and then the button we use for um, making something squared, you'll see the little blue pi symbol. So you click that. So pi times 8.745. And actually, I'm going to go back and I'm going to put this in parentheses because I'm going to be squaring that 8.745 end parentheses and then squared. That way I'm telling the calculator specifically what I'm squaring. Um, just always be on the safe side. Okay, so our area is 240, and I'll round that to the nearest tenth, 0.3. So area equals 240.3. That one was pretty painless. All right, lastly, let's find the circumference. So circumference was either pi times the diameter or two times pi times the radius. Well, since I already know the diameter, uh, I'm gonna go with the shorter one. So I know that the circumference will be pi times the diameter, 17.49. I just think that one's a little shorter than the other one. So I'm gonna type that into the calculator, pi times 17.49 all right so there it is I'm gonna round that to the nearest tenth so the circumference is 54.9 all right so again on your math one quizzes and test, if it asks you any questions with this stuff, it's going to give you the formulas, but it's in your best interest to go ahead and memorize them. All right, this has been Miss Smith's Math Tutorials.